Right, all set, Diana. Yeah, mate. What? I've been trying to yet. One minute, countdown. Hello, Diana. Oh, that's no, no volume. I can't hear any volume. I can't hear anything. No volume. I don't know if everyone in the chat can hear. 
if you can type in the chat, that would be good if you can hear me. I can hear the music, but I cannot hear Diana talk. She's silent. I can't see the chat, but uh, thanks to everyone who's uh, tuned in so far. Hello. Can you hear? Diana? Mm -hmm. If everyone can hear, uh, I think Diana is just checking out our sound. Okay, how about now? Hello? Hello, Diana. Can you hear me? Hello. 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 I can hear you. Let me see. I'm not oh, muted. Good. I can hear you now. I could hear your music before, but okay. I couldn't hear you talk. Okay. All right, Davey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you good, loud and clear. Okay. I, yes, the whole time I've been able to hear you. I, I've been hearing you, and I and I I've been trying to respond, and then you couldn't hear me. Well, everything is loud and clear now. I can hear you very well. So, so welcome everybody to our special holiday Halloween edition. I love Halloween. I love Christmas too. Uh, those are probably my two favorite holidays, Halloween and Christmas. So we have a special guest today, Davey, J-Y Art with a pen. That's the name of his channel, and it's linked down below in the description box. Definitely check out his channel. I like to call him Mr. Halloween because uh, he creates he creates creepy, scary art artwork all throughout the year. So Davey, uh, welcome, and do you want to tell us about the artwork you're going to create today? Yes, hello Diana, thanks for letting us uh, join you again on this live stream because we had a little bit of difficulty last week on my side, a technical issue. So what I'll be doing is I'll be creating a portrait of a horror character, horror movie character and a book character called Dr. Fabes. He's called Dr. Anton Fabes. Now, I'll just show you there's the DVD, which I have. That's the movie, The Abominable Dr. Fabes, starring Vincent Price as Dr. Anton Fabes. It's a fantastic movie, created in 1971. And there's the sequel. If you want to check these out, I think they're both on YouTube, uh, as far as I remember, in full. So you can watch both of those movies free on YouTube. So that's how I'll be drawn, Dr. Anton Fibes, or my oh. version anyway. Okay, so, and I just want to say, if there's any more tech issues, like where um, you can't hear me, I'll, I will type to you an instant messenger, okay? Okay. I will I'll communicate with, I will communicate, because I want to put my headphones in and I want to see if that's a problem or not. I want to try putting my headphones in. It could be the problem. Okay, I was going to actually put my headphones on, but I decided not to, just in case. How about, okay, can you hear me, Davey? 
Perfect. Brilliant. Okay. Awesome. That's great. Okay, awesome. So, um, Davey's going to be working on his artwork, and I am doing, I am working, well, that that's a Halloween picture that you see right now that I created a while ago, but I'm going to be doing digital art. Pretty good. That's awesome. This, I already started it, and I'm working on it, of the Sorceress. Oh, very good. I like this. I like the sound of this. <laughs> yeah, look at her. And look, look how gold, look at the gold effect you can get with the digital art. I have special gold that brushes. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. And is that on, can you remind me the digital software you use, please, Diana? Procreate, the Procreate app. I've been using Procreate. it for 10 years. Procreate app. It's yeah. highly critically acclaimed. It's, you get so much bang for your buck. It's unbelievable. It's highly critically acclaimed. That's great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Thank have to you. check that out like I said last time. Oh, it's only for iPads. Um, Procreate is not oh, for right. any other kind of tablet. It's only for iPads. Oh, okay. But it looks awesome. Thank you. It so I'm going to work on the hair really next. Good. And I, I'm going to say to, hello to some people in the chat now. And Davey's going to get started working on his artwork. And then I will too after I say hello. Greet some people in the chat. Hello, Red, Red, Red Headed Riding Hood. She's a channel member. Shout out to Redheaded Riding Hood. Her channel link is down below in the description box. She, Hello, Red. Thank, thank you Hello, so much Red. for being Hi, yes. Hi, Red. She's uh, And her channel, her channel is about writing. Shout out to her. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, Davey. I was just going to say, Hello, Red. Uh, we are both on Instagram. Okay. She follows me and I followed her. Awesome. So I haven't we also have a YouTube channel. Oh yeah. She has a live stream every Monday. Oh, it'll be too late for you. Monday night, 10 PM Eastern standard time every Monday night. That'll be it's way too late for you. Late. I'll be asleep or I'll be watching Star Trek or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> or Dr. Faves. I'll be watching Dr. Faves. And hello, Mr. Shelton, coming all to also with us, okay. coming to us from the UK. That's and cool Danny, hi, Danny Mac. He's also coming to us from the UK. Is Danny a is a member. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just sorry for putting in there, Diana. No, I it's my. Sorry. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry. So. Of course, they keep going across the screen. Look, get out. Sorry, continue. Sorry about that. There was again. So Danny, Danny Mac is one of my friends from the YouTube blind community. I am, I am a blind artist, and he, he's part of the YouTube blind community. And hello, hello Rebecca. Donnie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Grayscale Painting. Hello, Grayscale. I'm scrolling down. Okay. Thank you, Red. She loves the intro. And hello, Elf Lord's Journey. Hello, Elf. Nice to see you on here. Oh, thank you, Red, for dropping Davy's link. Davy's channel link is also right at the top of my description box. But also, thank you so much, Red, for dropping Davy. Davy's channel link. Thank you, Red. Be sure to check doing out. That. Oh, Elf Lord says he just watched that this movie, that movie you're talking about, I think. Oh, like yes, Sven, Dr. Fabe. Sven Gooley. This one here, Elf. I think Elf must be a fan. I wonder if he liked it quite humorous there's a lot of humor tongue-in-cheek humor in it as well but it's a little bit grisly at times as well which is fantastic hello lisa b it's been a while so nice to see you lisa b did hello, you lisa. ever did you... hi lisa And Blind Neil. Hi, Blind Neil. Also a friend from the YouTube Blind community. Hello, Blind Neil. Hello, Neil. 
Charlene Hill. Hi, Charlene. Hello, Charlene. Thank you for sharing out, Charlene. Oh, Lisa, Lisa B says she usually lurks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it when you say hello, though. It's always good fun lurking on live streams. <laughs> so, okay. I, I'm going to... How do you like our gra my graphics, my new Halloween graphics? The ghost. Fantastic. Is that ghost again? Look. Yeah, yeah the ghost is going to be... You're not there he is again, look. Floating across us, yes. Floating across the screen. It's the same ghost. <laughs> going around in a circle. I know. I have more Halloween graphics. Okay, I'm going to show keep, a few more. It's a keep fit ghost. That's what that is. It's a jogger, a, a jogging ghost. He's doing laughs. It looks quite happy. Mm -hmm. I've got me pens ready here. Oh, the bats. Oh, those bats. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. It was a spider. There's a lot of stuff going on here, Diana. There's a lot, of, a lot of bats around. Behind the scenes, I can't even see anything. There's some kind of glitch. Oh, Whoa. there it is. There they are. Oh, look at that. I think they're after my crackers. My cream, my cream crackers. Oh, look at them. Yeah, I'll show, show them again. That's what I'm having tonight. Is that spider? Ooh, nice. Is that noodles? Noodles. Oh, I couldn't see that no, far. No, these, these are crackers, oh, crackers with, uh, crackers. with cheese. Crackers and cheese. Okay. So Ooh, nice for Halloween. These are very I nice for Halloween. And I love and crackers and cheese. Awesome. Oh, it's great. So do I, uh, Diana. Cheese is very nice. And there's a lot of... What's your favourite cheese, by the way? Um, Have you got a favourite cheese? Uh, let me think. Let me think, let me think. Oh, I love camembert. That soft, that really camembert, soft, creamy yeah. cheese. Very famous yes, cam cheese, yeah. Camembert. I love camembert. I hardly ever eat it anymore. I mean, yes. Gouda. I do like Gouda. Oh, Gouda, yes. Gouda. What about um, Stilton, Red Leicester? Uh, Have you tried uh, those? No, no. Cheddar? Sorry. What about cheddar? Have you heard of cheddar? Ch yes, yes. And cheddar is very common. Cheddar is actually the one I eat the most in Swiss. Swiss cheese and cheddar are the ones. Cheddar is um, great. A lot of people yeah. like cheddar. Yes, cheddar, right. And blue cheese, cheese is Halloween. okay. And blue cheese, I like it in some things, yes. Very nice. So, go ahead and start. I guess you're going to start your artwork soon, and I and I will too. Yes. Would you like me to start now? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Right. Here we go. Right then. Let's get this pen first. And we'll, uh... Oh, I've run out of that pen. So I'll have to stick with this one. It's run out of ink. This pen's run oh, out of ink. No. So we'll, we'll use this one. I've got plenty more. So I'm going to do a basic... Basic sketch of fives. This is going to be a sketch. Vincent Price plays the part of Dr. Anton Fibes. 
Oh, Vincent Price. Mm -hmm. Vincent Price. Mr. Horror himself. Yep. And he plays a really good part as well. It's well worth checking out. I know Elf's checked him out. And he's watched Fives. Very rough at first, before going to the details. This is my version of Fives. Mm -hmm. Don't know if everyone can see that or not. <coughs> Excuse me. That's, my, that's the ghost moaning. It is, isn't it? Oh dear me. It's going the other way. Here's the witch. <laughs> Let's uh, scroll in a little bit, maybe. I'm just scrolling in on this drone. Mm-hmm. I like the sound of that witch. I think that's a little bit better. The vibes. Right, here we go. Let's get a move on with this sketch. Let's get these teeth done. Fibes wears a mask. Uh, that's when he's Vincent Price. But when he takes his mask off, he's this character. Okay, you see what he really looks like. And he's almost a skull, a living skull. So he's not. Oh, uh, when he takes his mask off, he's just a skull. Yeah, he's not very pleasant to look at. He's like a rotten skull. He's like Ugh. decayed. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Bro broke his. Mm -hmm. Danny broke his foot. He said he had bought some tickets to go clubbing in Manchester for his birthday with friends, and then right. he broke. It broke his foot. Oh dear me! I wonder has he got the plaster on it now? Has he got a plaster on a Danny? Because if he's got a plaster on, he can still dance a little bit if he's very oh, careful. Okay. But don't you, you don't stand on anybody's toe with that big plaster when when you're dancing. So the basic sketch of Fibes. What is Diana laughing at? Somebody said, I'm not. I don't know what I was laughing at. This thing that comes out of his neck, fades his neck. I take a plug, he plugs it in. This thing here, I'll just move it up a little bit so you can see. Yeah. That there. That's so he can talk. Okay, he plugs it in. And also, oh. he can plug it out and he can, and he, uh, he feeds through his neck as well. Oh, no, really? So he gets a spoon or a fork, picks the food up, and sticks it in his neck to eat. Yeah. So that's a bit gross. <laughs> so there you go. I like that music, by the way. Thank you. So which is on music. broomsticks? Great. Who's that tree? Shift his nose up a little bit. What's left of his nose? There we go. Now let me have a look at this. It's 
speaking of music, uh, Fibes has also got a mechanical band. Like uh, all of the characters, the, the musicians are all mechanical. Okay. They're all autumn, they're like autons. If I can say that, if that, if I can say that, autons, mechanical musicians. And they play jazz. Really? So he's a big, ja he's a big oh. jazz fan, Fibes. Right. Let's get some detail in here. So the character you said, the character you're drawing um, plays in a jazz band? No, he has a band. He's got his own personal band, which yes. is a jazz band, but they're not real, they're not human. The, the mechanical, the autons, okay, the mechanical musicians, and they play jazz music, which is very creepy. In fact, the movie starts, it, it actually opens up with the jazz band. Ah. His mechanical jazz band. Playing the trumpet and whatever, and the drums and the double bass and stuff. Oh, they're talk in the chat they're talking about cooking with cheese. <laughs> cooking with cheese? Oh, very good. Hey, what about cheese on toast? Do you like cheese on toast? I, I love grilled cheese. Grilled cheese sandwich. Gr grilled cheese sandwich is nice. We have in the UK cheese on toast. So Neil will know what cheese on toast is. Because he's from the UK, he's from Manchester. Yes. Uh... Yeah. I, no, not Neil. He's. I think he's from Canada, but Danny. Oh, Danny's from the UK. Danny. Danny from the UK. Sorry. Sorry, Danny. From Manchester, I think you said. That he was so, going to go clubbing um, in Manchester, yes. Yes. So Danny will know what she's on toast is. I'm sure they have cheese on toast in Manchester. Here's the okay, everybody. Here's the sorceress I'm working on. Oh, that's good. I like that, Diana. Thank you. I love I that pagan do... look and the the half moon symbol. What, what is it? Yeah. Is it a on a forehead? Yes, I know. I see that in different things, and and then sometimes yes. I see an artwork that is not meant to be evil. So I don't know if that's. I don't know if like that could be interchangeably an evil symbol and not an evil symbol. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Looks very magical. It's a it's a certain certainly a magical looking symbol. Yeah. Which looks like is giving the witch some power. I would I would imagine. I'm just going to get rid of uh, a little bit of the white paper here by just laying down some scribbling. Just covers the white area. It's going right. to be one of the layers, the first layer I've drawn. Just get it in there. his neck. I'll just move it up a little bit so you can see his neck. His neck area here. So are you doing anything for Halloween? Uh, there's nothing planned really. Uh, I'll probably... Um, 
nothing like a party. Do you mean like a Halloween party or something like that? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, we'll not be doing any Halloween parties. Yeah, it's been a long time since I didn't do a Halloween party. Yeah, me too. I sort of give up, to be honest with you. Yeah. So now what I was the last? What was the? What was the last Halloween costume that you ever were dressed in? That was a long time ago. I know. What did you yeah, dress as? Years ago. I think it was a zombie. Oh, not a enough. zombie. What one like fives here? Like a zombie, I think, as far as I remember. I'm trying to remember what the last... Oh, the last time I dressed up was... um. Because I taught for 25 years, I was an elementary school art teacher. So right. the last time I dressed up was like for some school thing, and I can't remember the last thing I dressed up at. But one time I made, I created my own big cardboard poster board butterfly wings, and for several years in a row, I was a butterfly with huge butterfly wings. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that created the costume myself. Oh, now I remember. And then. Many years ago, it wasn't the last time, but I went to a, a dance where they do contra, not country, but contra, it's Celtic, Celtic contra dancing. And um, oh, it was a Halloween, it was in the Halloween theme. And yes. one of my teacher friends lent me, they she lent to, to me her full out clown costume, complete oh, with yeah, a big, me. yeah, with, like 16 inch um 16 inch like huge long shoes and a red nose and a and a rainbow afro wig and and anyway right. i won first place i won first place right. in the con in the costume contest i that's won a awesome. bag of candy <laughs> oh, that's great that was worth getting dressed up as a clown getting that bag of candy and nobody nobody could tell who i was because it was all complete makeup and you couldn't even tell who i was isn't that the fun of getting dressed up when yeah. no one knows who you are? And you can jump about and stuff. And I'm trying to think what are some other costumes I wore. Let's see. What else? Oh, just kind of like a witch, but not really like a witch's hat. Just wore a witch's hat with a, I think I had a witch's gown, black gown. When I was That's at, awesome. you know, at school, at, at teaching school with the kids. That's great. How about everybody in the chat? What have you been, what have, what costume are you going to or have in the past dressed up as? And is anybody having any Halloween parties? Or what are you doing for Halloween? I think I'll be watching a horror movie, or a few horror movies. So what's uh. everybody out there? What's everybody in the chat doing on Halloween? Let me check the chat. Are you checking it? Are you just going to relax and watch a... Oh no, movie? we have a troll. Oh. Well, I don't have... Oh, I forgot to put this on subscriber mode, I bet. That's why. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yeah, I forgot. Okay, I got to go do that right now. Right. So what's everybody doing for Halloween? Are you watching a movie? Are you relaxing? Are you going out partying? Are you going to go to a Halloween party and get dressed up? Or are you going to uh, roam the streets with uh, in Halloween costume? What's everybody doing? Yeah, what's everybody doing while I put this in subscriber mode? Hold on, please. <laughs> what is subscriber mode? You can, for your live streams, you can set it so that people that only are subscribers of one minute to one minute to like days or weeks like you could say okay nobody can right. be in this live stream unless they've been a subscriber for at least one minute or you, you can set the timing to however however what you want all right that's good yes you go to cust 
you go to customization and right there customization not and then let me say that's right i didn't put it on subscriber mode hold on <clears throat> Would you, would you like to hear a very spooky little incident I had a few weeks ago? A Halloween type spooky incident. Spooky story? Yes. Like it's real life? Like a real life. Yes. It was real life story? Oh yes, tell yeah. us. But um, I, I don't know what I've, what I've witnessed here, okay? So it could be a load of rubbish. So, so you be the judge. And it was when I was setting up, believe it or not, a few things have happened uh, in our house. Yeah. Several very strange okay. incidents. And can you remember that the recently? First live, recently, the first live stream that I've done with you? Yes. Yeah? Something very strange happened, which I've never witnessed before. Oh. And I've heard it many times, but I didn't mention it on the live stream, obviously, because I thought everybody will think that I think I'm uh, maybe you know cracking up or something, or that I'm not telling the truth. But I thought I would mention it, save it for for uh, this live stream. Oh, yeah? okay. Now, as I was setting up the camera. Bearing in mind a few strange things has, has already occurred in our house over the years. Very strange things. Uh, so we're thinking maybe uh, it could be, well, I don't know what you think about ghosts or not, but uh, could could be something ghostly happening. I believe so it, I don't, I don't want to see, I don't want to see but I do believe in them, but I just don't I want to I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with any ghosts. Me, me too. That's exactly how I feel, right? I don't want to see one. I believe in them, but I do yes. not want to see one. But unfortunately, I saw something. Mm -hmm. Right. When I was setting up the live stream, oh. the first live stream uh, several weeks ago, I was setting it up. The camera was on, and as I was sitting, checking out the camera, see if it works. Uh, what you call an orb, which I've been told I've been to. Oh uh, yes. You know orbs. Well, there was a very yes. large orb. Orb appeared behind me head. Uh. Like it was quite large, and it dropped. It sorry, it uh, it went. A, right behind me head very slowly and, uh, horizontally and I, I i seen it immediately it was huge and it floated past me head now that's the only time i've ever witnessed that as i've been recording uh. anything and obviously i record a lot of stuff i've never that was the first time i had been on a live stream of course so I was absolutely transfixed to the screen when this thing floated past. Now I don't know what that was. Okay, it's never happened to us before. I've never seen anything like that before. But it, it, it immediately yes. sent the hairs on the back of my neck standing up on end. Oh. So that's what happened to us on that first live stream. But I didn't mention it, okay? I thought I better keep this quiet. Ah. Uh, and Lisa, Lisa says in the chat to you, awesome, Davey, I hope you said hello. I sort of, I was, <laughs> Lisa, I was, I was quite uh, transfixed to the screen. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I seen this thing and I thought, what the, on earth? is is this floating past 
and the hairs on the back of my neck started to stand up on end. And I didn't think to say hello. I should have, shouldn't I? Yeah, you can't, you don't think of, you don't think of saying hello when you're, when you're kind of scared. Yeah, it was out of the, it was a big surprise, to be honest with you, uh, seeing it. So that's the only thing I've seen. I've heard, I've heard things, but I haven't seen anything. I've heard strange things. So there you go, oh, that was my little ghostly, possible, wow. possible ghostly. Blind, ne Blind Neil has some stories. Thank you for sharing that story, Davey. So, That's okay. So Blind, Neil, Blind, Neil, uh, Blind Neil says he, a dude passed away down the hall from him. Right. He was in there, he was in there almost a month before people discovered him. Oh, dear me. And then another person passed away down the hall from him and they didn't find him for a week. Whoa, by God, that ain't good. No, that is, that's quite nasty. Oh, and he says, luckily both happened in the winter. Oh, thank God. I see <laughs> what you mean. Because if it had been in the summer, it would have been very nasty. It would have been a nasty sight. Yes, or in smell, bad smell. You can just imagine. So and Danny said, "Danny says ghosts are fine. It's the poltergeist you don't you have you need to worry about." Yeah, the poltergeists. Well, I've never experienced anything like that, but I've heard several things, very strange things knocking on doors and stuff like that uh, but I had the only thing I've seen that could be possibly ghostly is that orb it's the only thing and it surprised us I was quite shocked when I seen it and you know there's some YouTube channels where they film like they're that's what they're known for their channels are known for that where they film that they film the yeah. orbs it's great Or the the ghost chasers, the people that visit haunted places. I don't want to visit those haunted places because I believe that stuff is there, and, and actually, I do not want to come home with one of those things attached to me. I don't want to bring yeah, one home like that. That's not good. I did go on a ghost hunt once. Yes. To a very old hotel in the northeast called the Grand Hotel. And I'll tell you who visited the Grand Hotel many, many years ago. Oh. Uh, I think everybody will know these two. Laurel and Hardy. Ah, oh, yes. Right, well, they visited England. They went on a tour of England. And uh, it was at the end of their career. And they visited the Grand Hotel. Yeah, that's not too far from where I live. Oh, they okay. went, this, this was many years ago. We went on a, many friends went on a ghost hunt, but I didn't say anything, yeah. But the story was, in this hotel, members of staff would be walking around, okay, doing that stuff, doing their work. Then all of a sudden, they would feel a little tug, a little hand, tug of that shirt at the back, or tug that apron. Yeah, and apparently uh -huh. there, was a, there was a ghost of a little boy roaming about there, and now and again he would tug people's shirts from behind, and when we uh -huh. looked around, there was nobody there. Yes, and a few members of staff had witnessed it. Witnessed this. A shirt had been tugged from behind, but when they turned. There was nobody there. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, I thought you were going to say Laurel and Hardy um, haunted the oh, place. Yes. And I was thinking, but they're comedians. I can't imagine that they would be scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you would laugh, wouldn't you? If they had turned up, you would laugh. Mm hmm.
This time's neck just about done. I hope I can get this finished by the time this uh, live stream uh, ends. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's creepy how he gets fed through his neck yeah he feeds himself through his neck Ugh. why he had some accident is that why he cannot he, yes i think he, he did mm -hmm. i think he had a nasty accident um and he's ended up like this yeah so he's oh, in a bad way God. But you don't know what the accident is? Uh, I, ooh, I cannot remember. I cannot remember what the accident he had. But um, th there was a series of films, recent, quite recent films, called Saw. Now, I don't know if you've seen any of the Saw films or anybody in the chat, but that is a rip-off of Dr. Fibes the Saw movies a little bit of a rip off yeah. as far as I can tell because the story of Anton Fibes is that he blames a number of doctors for the death of his wife okay so what he does is with the help of his assistant he hunts these doctors down and kills them murders them in different gruesome ways okay so if you want to find out how he gets them and seeks out his revenge on these doctors you'll have to watch the movie because i'm not going to spoil it watch... oh okay do you ever watch that do have you ever watched that tv show series called dexter oh you know what i missed it i was told that it was well, really good you can still watch it on amazon prime or on those right. kind of uh, you could still they still have the series available it's still there is it yeah right, mm -hmm. right i might watch that is it good yeah i like it yeah dexter yeah he kills no. the bad guys like he and nobody right. ever suspects him he he works he works for like a hospital it's a medical thing and and all right he kills the bad guys and he and he encloses the whole thing like he encloses a whole room in plastic so that no, nothing gets out of and then he throws away all that plastic so all that blood spatter will be contained oh my god right <laughs> oh the guy dexter is a serial killer isn't he yeah serial but he, killer but killing the bad guys but he kills serial killers he's a serial killer that kills such serial killers I don't I know if he necessarily out. kills serial killers, but I think he he might. But I I thought he just killed kill he he also just kills murderers or something. Oh right, like like murderers and whatever you criminals. Right, I'll have to check it out. I haven't I haven't seen it, but I've been told about it. I've been told that it's good. Well, I think I'll have to, um, on Halloween, I'll have to dig out some, uh, I might watch Fibes again, actually, but I'll have to dig out some, some horror movie. I wonder if anybody in the chat has a recommendation. I oh, if, if Mr. Anybody... Shelton is in here, Mr. Shelton is in here. He's a, he's an expert on horror movies. I, I used to love, like, one of my mm. favorite horror movies. One of my favorite horror movies is the guy that with Jack Nicholson was in. Um, I forget the name oh. of that movie. Of oh, oh, The Shining. The Shining. That's one of my favorite. But now I get too scared. I used to love horror movies, but now I get too scared by them, and they just leave me so scared afterwards that I, I kind of, I avoid I avoid them. Well, The Shining is great. That's an amazing film. Yeah, I know. That's okay, maybe a, for Halloween, uh, maybe in honor of Halloween, I'll watch a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> Get a good horror movie on. Right, let's have a look here. Oh, there's, there's those bats again, Diana. I know. I left them my I'm cheese playing cracker. with the graphics. 
I left my cheese crackers at Diana. <laughs> right there. So, what's everybody, what's everybody's favorite horror movie then? Oh yeah, what's everybody's favorite horror? I have to say, I I haven't seen it in so long, I can't even remember what it was really about. Except it's about a hotel, a, a creepy hotel. But I think Shining is my favorite horror movie. Yes. Well, The Shining is about well Jack Nicholson and his family, his wife, uh-huh. and his son. Where he gets a job as a janitor, a caretaker. I should say a caretaker in a hotel, a remote luxury hotel in the wilderness. Yeah. Okay. But he's got it, it's empty over the winter, yeah? So he's got yeah. to look after it and maintain it. And he gets shown around, uh, told what to do. And that's where it starts, isn't it? That's where the nasty things happen in the hotel. Because I, I think I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna watch that on Halloween day or Halloween week. I think you should. I'm gonna watch it again. Hi, Goswina. Goswina comes to us from the Netherlands. Hello, Goswina. So if Mr. Shelton's still in here, please recommend to us a a good horror movie. Also, there was somebody else who was oh a, there was a him John Shelton and a bunch of his friends did did thirty one or are doing thirty one days of October or thirty one days of Halloween, where each day right. they review a different horror movie. Oh, that's great! That sounds awesome. So, what does everybody else like to watch horror wise, horror movie wise? Everyone who was in the chat, what's your favorite horrors? How about, the, here's a, a goofy horror movie that's like goofy and funny, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I Did you ever see that? I have seen it many years ago. That was great. Yeah, a long time ago. I loved it. It was fantastic. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, I, I actually can't, I don't remember that I enjoyed it. It was so long ago, I can't remember, but I'm going to watch The Shining. How about everybody in the chat? What horror movie are you going to watch? The uh, The Omen, a classic, Lisa says. A classic. Yes, Lisa, it certainly is. What about uh, the obvious one? The, the big, Exorcist? The big one, The Exorcist, yes. The Exorcist. Oh my God! When that came out in the seventies, people, or I think it was the seventies, or was it the eighties? I think it was the seventies. They said grown what? men are walking out of the middle of the movie. Grown men are walking out of the theater vomiting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a good film. It was a really great film. Uh, but I think The Shining's better. I prefer, I prefer The Shining anyway. But I oh, think you do. One... And Rebecca has one. Rebecca says the midnight meat train. I've seen it. No, I don't like. If that's a slasher movie, I don't like slasher movies. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a slasher movie. Uh, it's because the other, well, that ex footballer. How would you call him? Oh God, turned actor, footballer turned actor. Well, me eldest nephews. Uh, put that on for us when I went up to visit them a few, several years ago. I said, Dave, you got to watch this. And, it, and uh, it was quite good. It was quite um, quite nasty, to be honest with you. I think that's the one I'm on about with the ex-footballer. And I cannot remember his name. Uh, here's what one. about uh, Danny... Oh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Go on, Diana. Oh, Danny Mac says, you have to watch Scream Halloween with Freddy Krueger and and scary movies on Halloween. It's the It rules. Brilliant. That's brilliant. That's a great recommendation. What about The Omen? The Omen. Yeah. I don't know if That's I ever watched it. 
Yeah. With, oh, here's a scary one that. Oh yeah, the one. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Where the computers, the like, they're. I think they're on a spaceship, or I don't know if they're on a spaceship, but the computer starts. The computer's name is Hal, right? Oh, or no, is it Hal? Yes, 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 that's kind of creepy. That's very creepy. Where the computer gets very gets gets, gets intelligent. That is creepy. That that part with Hal, the red eye. Yeah. Hal's just got one red eye. Yeah. And that is creepy, right? You know, and it lip lip reads, doesn't it? Because they try and hide. Oh, I lip. can't. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, the thing it cannot hear them. And in fact, it's lip reading. Oh gosh! Saying. So it knows what that plan is. Creepy. It's a good one. Two thousand and one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And and also, two thousand and one was directed by Stanley Kubrick, who also oh, okay. directed The Shining. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. So there you go. There are two films you've mentioned by Stanley Kubrick. Okay. I think one of my favorite horrors, horror movies, is probably The Omen. Yeah, that's what and they mentioned in here already, yes. Yeah, The Omen. That's a crack of that. That's a, it's a Corgan film. What's that about, the omen? It's about the Antichrist being born. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, as a child born, it's Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck's child. And it's the Antichrist. Okay. And it's about him wreaking havoc on everybody who's, who gets in the way or, or, or finds out. Yes. Okay. Bye, Neil. Bye, Bye, Neil has to go. Bye, Neil. I'll see you, Neil. Have a nice night. The child's name is called Damien. Ah, okay. uh, Damien. And he, mm. and he is the Antichrist. That's what that's about, and it stars Gregory Peck, a fine American actor, one of my favorite actors. All right. Or what's the, there's a more recent movie about, um, where the guy, Brad, Brad Pitt, I think it's Brad Pitt, who is really, right. he's like really the devil or something. All right. Are you on about, what is that? What is that? Yeah. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. The Brad Pitt movie, where he's the devil. You know, you know which one I'm. You know, you, you don't know the name of it, but you, you think you, you know what I'm re referring to? Yes, I do. Okay. I certainly do. I think, I think I do. Unless I'm thinking of Keanu Reeves. Oh, it might be that. Oh no, Great Grayscale Painting says the Omen. Good wholesome viewing for the whole family. Great. <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh. Danny hey, Max says, oh, go ahead, sorry. Sorry, Diana, keep going, sorry there. I'm sorry. What, is, what does Danny say? Danny, Danny Max says, the tower, it is a skyscraper controlled by, it is a skyscraper controlled by a computer and it becomes AI and starts trying to kill everybody. It's a brilliant film. It's quite old though, called The Tower. Sounds good. Sounds like a modern horror, the tower. What about the classic American Werewolf in London? Oh, uh, well, I've heard of that, but I, I don't think I ever saw it. Whoa, hey, Diana, you've got to see that one. It was done way back in the, ooh, hold on, wait a minute. Uh. Maybe late seventies or early eighties. 1980 or 79 or whatever the an american okay. werewolf in london that's a must watch 
That is so creepy. It's about a couple of American students. Yeah. Two American students who visit England. But they go to a, a remote area where there's a small village. And they end up in this inn called the Slaughtered Lamb. Oh no! <laughs> okay, and everybody, the the local people in in this English village, are not too friendly at first, but things improve, and they're given a warning. Don't step off the path when you leave this village. Stay on the path, yeah. But I'll not spoil the rest for you. But that's just basically, it's about a werewolf. And it's a great film. Okay. I bet everybody in the chat knows about an American werewolf in London. Yeah, I bet they do. I've heard of it, yeah. It's such a good film. Or the, here's one that's, it's not super, I mean, it's kind of a little bit creepy, but not super. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't think it's considered a horror movie called The Sixth Sense. Six Sense, oh, and it was yes. filmed in Philadelphia. Six Sense, where the the boy, the little boy, sees dead people. That's a great movie. Oh, I love that movie. Made me wife went to see that at the cinema. Yeah. And that was spooky. Because it was ghosts. But ghost stories are always very spooky to me, anyway. Grayscale says American Werewolf is a classic. Yes, you're absolutely right, Grayscale. Such a good film. It's probably, I would say, and I don't know if anybody agrees with this, it's probably the greatest werewolf movie ever made. Possibly. So it's not part comedy that's not part comedy oh, yeah. it's, 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 yes it's it it's, is. it's what you it's what you would call black comedy or right dark okay comedy yeah so it's comedy with a nasty tone to it okay yeah? so when something bad happens there's a there's a comedic thing linked to it yeah to, to okay. something bad but you'll if you watch it you'll find out you'll see the humorous the humor in it is very dark well here's a movie that it, it has a creepy name like it would be a horror but it's not um rocky horror picture show oh it's a great one classic one that one diana right and that's not horror that's not horror at all right it's a uh... It it's a, a rock opera. Element, it's it? like a rock opera. It's a rock musical. Yeah. Yes. You're right. A rock a rock opera. And Meatloaf stars in it as well. A very young Meatloaf. Oh, okay. If you watch it again, you'll see him. He's quite young in it. But there is actually a comedy. So, well, it, I suppose it is a horror, but it's a comedy, okay, which I absolutely love, and it's me, it's one of my favorites. It's called Young Frankenstein. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. Mel Brooks, Young oh, Frankenstein. okay. That that kills me every time I watch it. I think I might I might watch that on Halloween. Young. But Frankenstein. that's partly funny. It's a comedy, yeah. It's it's very humorous. It's it's a t it's a it's a remake, a comedy remake of Frankenstein. Yeah. So if you like Mel Brooks humor, uh, watch that, and it's shot in black and white as well. So Danny says almost anything by Stephen King. Yes. Right. What about it? No, you got dressed up as a clown. Yeah, so that's the it uh. influence. Yeah, Stephen King's it. Oh, okay. 
Well, he wrote so many. I mean, he's not a director. Is he a director too? He's mainly he's a writer, mainly a writer, right? I think he's a writer. Yeah, he's, he's definitely writer, a writer. I, I don't know if he got into directing. I'm not too sure. I cannot think of anything. But he's possibly the most famous horror writer. Right. Stephen King, so many of his books have been transformed, transferred to movie. So many of them. But yes, it is so good. Has anybody heard of the author F. Paul Wilson? No, because I have. I have not. I'm, I'm currently reading a book by him, which I bought in 1987 or 1986. I can't remember. It was the late 80s, and it's called The Keep. Now they've done a movie which wasn't so good. I, I mean, I don't know if anybody likes it or not, but it was nowhere near as good as the book. F. Paul Wilson, The Keep. And that's a great, that's a great uh, horror story. And you're, re you're currently reading it? I'm rereading it. I've already read it uh, mm -hmm. many years ago, but I need, I'm, I need to reread it. I'm not a big reader, to be honest with you. I don't oh, read it yeah. Yet. I'd rather watch a movie than read a book, to be honest with you. Yeah, me too. But I'm rereading some old books at the minute. Uh, and that's one of them. And I'm juggling between different books. How's the sorceress getting on? Well, I, I've been watching the chat most of the time and now I just started getting, doing a few more things. I can't concentrate so much on a live stream as good as I and concentrate and also be able to look at it up close. I mean, I yeah. can zoom up, I can zoom up pretty good, but I, but I can't concentrate like, cause I have to get so, when I concentrate, I get so quiet. Like you don't want to talk, you know what I'm ta yeah. saying? Yes, you're right. It's very difficult. <laughs> And we've got, we're on a live stream as well, it's, uh, and you're the host. So you're looking at the chat. I know. To, you're juggling that, which is difficult. I tried doing the hair, but it's, no, the hair needs more attention, and I can't, and I need to really focus if I was going to do that. So I'm just doing a little bit, uh, just. I'm going to check the chat again. What about uh, what about the classic Halloween movie? I absolutely love this movie. I think everybody loves it. What about Hocus Pocus? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't think I, I even heard that one. But with the three witches? No, I don't. With so, Bette Midler? Sorry, I don't think I know Bette, that one. Bet Bet Midler. Is oh, one of the Bette, oh, okay. Can you remember that one? With the talking cat? No, and no, I just oh. vaguely, kind of vaguely remember who else is in it, like Cher or somebody. No, that's the Witches of Eastwick. Ah, oh, the Witches of Eastwick. You might be thinking about the Witches of Eastwick. No, Hocus Pocus is fantastic. It, oh yeah, really Lisa is. says. Yeah, Lisa says. Lisa and Rebecca are saying it's amazing and fantastic. Yes, well, uh, Lisa and Rebecca, 
Yeah, I agree with you. And and that is a family Halloween family movie. It's so good. Oh, so that would be like a family movie? Definitely, yeah, but it's quite spooky. Yeah, it's it's about three witches, yeah. And there's a second one. They're talking about the second one. Yes, they've just made a second one. Brand new. So I've yet to see that one. Has anybody seen the second Hocus Hocus Pocus movie? I wonder. I wonder what it's like. Yeah, let us know in the chat if you've seen the second one. I'd like to see it, to be honest with you. But the first one's fantastic. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, so Rebecca did. She saw the second one. What's it like, Rebecca? She said she liked the first one better. Ah, right. Oh, and Lisa Lisa says, don't waste your time. Oh, no. They've tried to make a... They've tried to make some money on a sequel. But it looks like they've failed. Maybe they should have just left it alone. Left the classic one. And Danny says Hocus Pocus is absolutely, absolutely hilarious. It is. Yes, Danny. I agree. Very funny movie. It is, it's almost, I would say, the perfect Halloween movie. Like for the family to watch. Let's see if I can finish Dr. Fabes, Anton Fabes' chin. Get his chin complete. So Hocus Pocus, you say, is scary, but it's also funny? Yeah, it's a creepy film. It's got some some drama in it, Mm -hmm. but it's not, it doesn't go too far, yeah? Oh, I might like that. So if, if I start watching The Shining and, it, and, I, and it's too creepy, it's, it's too scary for me, I'm gonna maybe I'll switch to Hocus Pocus. I think I think honestly, if you have not seen Hocus Pocus, yeah, you've got to see it. Okay, it's the Halloween film to watch. When was that made? Like in the nineties or something? Ooh, it must have been. I think it must have been the nineties. And Lisa says, no, it's not horror scary. It's funny scary. Yes. Almost sort of fairy tale like. Almost. Oh, okay. It's just a great, fun, creepy movie with comedy in it. Lots of comedy. Is anybody familiar with uh, uh, the Hammer Horror movies? It's an English company, film company called Hammer. No, I'm, I'm not. Anybody else in the chat? They were very famous in the 70s and the, and the, they created some amazing films. And it made a star of Christopher Lee. Those horror, Hammer Horror movies made Christopher Fairly a household name and a superstar because he played Dracula amongst other characters and also it done a lot for Peter Cushion yeah P- 
Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, the two uh, Superstar Hammer actors. Oh. So they're worth checking out. Hammer Horror. Right. Nobody He's... says they have, but somebody, well, maybe they have, but Lisa says she loves The Witches with Angelica Houston. Oh, it's great. Great one, Lisa. That's a great movie. From a Roald Dahl story. A Roald Dahl story. Angelica Houston is really good in that. There's a witch's convention in there. I think it's based around a witch's convention. And all the witches take oh, off their okay. It's awesome. Maybe I'll put you, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in the feature because um you're doing your artwork and I'm not doing mine. So let me let me put you in the feature. Okay. Because I'm not doing much of my artwork. I'm following the chat. It's a, it's a very nice Halloween screen there. Okay, hold on. With the tree. That spider's looking at looking at my screen there. You can just see it. Wait a minute, what happened? That spider there. Now there's the overlay. Let's put some detail into Anton Fibes' chin. There's his neck piece. This is how he talks. Is that him and without yeah. his mask on or with his mask? With and without his mask. Uh, he has his mask on, which is Vincent Price. That's when you see Vincent Price's face. That's that's in fact a mask. And he has that in his neck. Yeah. This thing here. He plugs it into his neck. These movies are free, I'm sure, on YouTube. If you just type in on YouTube, Dr. Fives full movie. Uh, and you, you should get a free version. So you, and I think both of them are on as well. The Abominable Dr. Fibes. And the sequel. And that's a movie from the... Are you saying it was from the 70s? 1971. 1971. Mm-hmm. There it is again, you can have a look at that. Good luck. There's Vincent Price's Fibes. Oh, God. And he's, there's a picture of him down below without his mask on. And he's kissing a lady called Volnavia. That's his assistant. Yep. There we go. I'll turn it over where well, you cannot really see much. Will I read the back of the... Or will I continue drawing? Oh, go I'll ahead. I'll, con I'll, con I'll continue drawing. But there we go. Vincent Price, Joseph Cotton. Oh, look at him so young. Vincent Price so young. I mean, kind of what? young, not so young. <laughs> Vincent Price, there, we, there you go, look. There's that jogging ghost again, look. Yeah. <laughs> jogging round. It must be fit. It's a fit. Yeah, ghost fit. There, it? It's keeping it's a keep fit ghost. Does anybody use those is it those steps? Meet us. 
that you put around your wrist. Counts all the steps you've made. Does anybody use those? So you oh, work. And somebody just said they want you to read. Ro Hi, Robin Fies and Di Di DIYs. She does want you to read it. Okay, who, who wants us to read it? Robin. Robin, hello, Robin. I'm yes. going to read you this. It's the synopsis of Dr. Fives, okay? Let's see if I can see it. So this is Dr. Fives. Meet Dr. Fives. A one-time concert musician who's now an all-time crazed murderer in this clever crypt kicking classic horrormeister vincent price plays a diabolical doc seeking the ultimate in revenge with precision creepiness and surgical wit watch dr fives live up to his promise Nine killed her, nine shall die. Nine eternities in doom. After a team of surgeons botch his beloved wife's surgery, leaving her for dead, the emotionally distraught Dr. Fives creatively concocts a fatal prescription for revenge. Using the good book as his guide, Fibes unleashes a score of Old Testament atrocities from a plague of locusts to an attack of rats on his enemies that climax in what would be one of the eeriest endings on screen record. So that's the synopsis of Dr. Fibes. Now, is this, is this movie in your top five or ten favorite? Horror oh, movies? definitely, definitely. It is so good. It's it's got a lot of humor. It's the character is so good. I think I'm giving it a top mark, just for the character played by by Vincent Price. Oh. Yeah. And uh, I think he plays a fantastic part. I love the character Doctor Fives. He's such a good character, and the humor so good. So that's why I would recommend. And Mr. Shelton says, great work, Davey. Oh, thank Lisa, you so much. And Lisa says, I wonder if Davey has ever seen Murder by Death. Yes, I have. Is that the comedy with Alec Guinness in it as the butler? Is that the one? Lisa? Murder by Death. Is that the one? Yes, she says yes. Aha, uh -huh. yes, I have. I enjoyed that. It was good. Murder by Death. Yeah, she says she loved that movie so much. There's a lot of actors in that. It's got an old star cast. It really has got a, a, a huge cast of actors. Oh, okay. I, I know Alec. I can remember Alec Guinness being in it, uh, and there's a lot of others, but I cannot remember who else is in it. So I'll have to rewatch that. Murder by Death. I've watched a lot of movies. Uh, I'm a bit of a movie buff, to be honest with you. Oh, I don't okay. love movies. I don't love watching movies. But I don't watch many movies now. Mm. Is it, so I've got a lot of like catching up to do. So what, sorry, Diana? You don't watch them. And why is it that you don't watch many movies now? <clears throat> it's time, really. Uh, I mean, a movie takes up, what, one and a half hours to two hours? Yeah. And if, if you're watching something like Lord of the Rings, then there's three hours gone. And if you watch the three Lord of the Rings, there's nine hours. So, I mean, you, uh, two hours is quite a bit. So if I do watch a movie, it'll be... Uh, maybe Friday night when I would watch a movie or a Saturday right but there's a lot of movies I'd like to see which uh, which I haven't seen you 
I've noticed there's a lot of free movies on YouTube. A lot of, a lot of what, scary movies? I think there's, well, there's a lot of... You're saying free? You said free movies? It could be. I don't know. But um, I've watched a few movies on YouTube. It's, it's, uh, I don't know how they're free. Some Most, of them uh, are free, not all of them. Yes, you, but there is a pay a paying service on YouTube yes. where you where you pay to see a movie, but there's also free movies. Right, I think um, maybe Anton Fibes' right, well, his left hand side, and this my right hand side, if his cheek is complete. I think I might leave that for now. I don't want to overdo it. I'm now going to... Let's get his teeth done, eh? He's going to go to the dentist, Anton Fibes. Okay. Okay, he's going to get some dental work done. And, I, and I'm going to do the dental work. So here we go. Let's move this so you can see. So let's do these teeth. So you're only using one pencil, you're not a, a, a variety of different softnesses and well, hardnesses of pencils? Well, this one's run out. This, well, wait a minute, hold on. Wait, are you using a pen right now or a pencil? It's a pen. Well, these Rock. are the two pen, These are, are the two pens that I normally use, okay? This is from a pack of pens, it's a bio, from a store called Sin. Berries. Okay, they're quite cheap. Some things went wrong with this pen, so now I'm gonna have to throw it in the bin. So I'll throw that in the bin. But this one here is a beautiful pen. Let's have a look, see if you can see that. It's a big round stick, and it's a really nice pen. It's very thin and it fits in your hand very comfortably. Uh, and this is a really nice pen to use. So Hi, Michelle. This... Hello, Welcome Michelle. in. Welcome, Michelle. We're talking about horror movies, okay, and favourite horror movies or spooky and scary experiences involving ghosts. So you've never tried Micron pens, Micron Mark little fine line markers let's have a look hold on i'll tell you what i'll do because i'm sitting right next to my pen my pen drawers okay i've got a little set of drawers full of pens i'll show you all of the pens that i use okay so you'll know that won't you the sharpie you'll know a sharpie everybody knows what sharpies are there's another one it's another bank row there we go. It's another big. It's a nice right. pen. So there's two. I also use sometimes for some work. Gel pens and uh, what have you. This is a nice one. This is called a V ball. Look at that. That's a this this. It's from Pilot. It's a, that's the make Pilot. Uh -huh. And this gives a, re it's very fine, and it gives a very nice black line. It's okay. really good for inking in. Okay, so that's three different pens there. There's number four. That's the big round stick. Okay. There's another one. Paper mate. Oh, paper yes. mate. Mm -hmm. Beautiful pen, that one, for drone. I use these for different kinds of drones, by the way. And finally, finally, 
you've got the uni the uni pin now i've seen quite a few artists use these pens this is a 0.5 there we go these are technical pens that, that, that uh, drone pens they're a little bit more expensive but not too expensive i think i, I bought this in a pack of 12 and it cost us about 10 pound they were, they were reduced and you get uh, a range from uh, 0.1 to 0.8 in size yeah so that is th those pens here yeah oh, okay. that's all of the pens i've got that i use for various various kind types of drawing yeah but normally the pens that i use the most are these ones the big round sticks okay ah. oh thank you oh so michelle says she's uh it's coming out cool what your your picture is coming out cool and she said she just did a zombie look with latex whoa very good on her face on her face she she does she's a makeup artist on her face for her. she does oh, awesome. makeup art that's great I'd like to say that I love hot on makeup. I love hot on makeup effects. Ah, okay. like mm -hmm. So let's get Anton Fabes teeth done. And his his nose because of his ax well, it was an accident or something that his face got disfigured. Yes, I think so. Uh, I don't know what happened. Maybe he was burned. Maybe he was in a, a fire of some sort. I cannot remember. Oh. But he's basically disfigured. Yep. Michelle, we were just talking about for a, long, for a long time. We've been talking about horror movies, our favorite, our favorite and least favorite horror movies. What, what's your favorite horror movie, Michelle? Oh, and I oh, I have to tell you, the graphics are courtesy of um a graphics pack that i bought from live streaming pros website www.livestreamingpros.com they have a special graphics pack i like those graphics that's those those bots again <laughs> The pack comes with a lot of things for just only $14.95. Only tons of things. That's really good. What other things have you got on that pack? So the ghost, Anything the good? ghost that comes in from the well, I'll show you. Okay, I did. Oh yes. The jogging ghost. The jogging ghost, the bad. We've done the about twenty thousand steps. The jogging ghost. ghost that comes in from the left, and then a jogging ghost that comes in from the right. Those ghosts have done about 20,000 steps. <laughs> I reckon tonight. They must have. There he is again. And, this, and then a ghost that comes in from the left. All right. That's a good one. I don't Looks know. The left, I mean, it goes from the, so another one comes in from the other side, but they can't, you can't have them yeah. both together. There he is, there now look. the other one's going to come in from on. the other side. Yes. Oh, good. I like the ghost. I must say, I, I do like that ghost. 
And this one, Happy Halloween. It's a good one. And two spiders, the spider that just stays down and swings and one that keeps dropping down. The spiders are good. I think my favorite is the ghost. Then this one, an overlay that doesn't it. move at all. It's a good one, that one. I like it. Two, two of these still overlays that don't move. This one and another one that does not have a tree on the right side. Then a countdown. Okay, hold on. Yes. Uh, a countdown. A count, it's only one minute countdown. That's why I use my own countdown that I created because I like it. It's, it's a five minute countdown, but okay, I have to scroll through. Hold on. This yeah, countdown, like it. it comes with it comes with, with this countdown in four different colors. Right. Oh, I like that. Oh, it's a good one. In four different colors. You can be, or I, 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 I just downloaded the, I mean, it comes in orange, blue, purple, or green. I'm using the orange one. It's a good one, that one. I like that. Then background. So I just showed you overlay, the countdown, and now some backgrounds. Let's see, backgrounds. Good. Backgrounds. Uh, this one, this background that comes in four different colors orange, green, purple, or black, or blue, or something. Well, it's good. I like that. Well, that's like an overlay. That might, I don't understand what that is. So that's supposed to be a background. And then, so that background comes in four different colors. That, I mean, in the pack, you just pick, I mean, you don't have to pick what it comes with the four different colors. And then, so. Yeah, that. And the countdown comes in four different colors. So that's it. That's what it comes with. That's good. That's a nice it's cool. pack. Yeah, it is a nice pack, but it's not a bad price at all. It's a nice Halloween pack. It's good. Yeah, supposedly they're coming out with a Christmas pack. And, well, they already have a Christmas pack. They probably just reintroduce it. But I mean, I like it because um, I never had gifts before. Like these, anima these animated overlays. I never had an animated overlay before. I think they look great. I think it's worth it just for that ghost. Just for that jogging ghost. Just, just for that jogging ghost. <laughs> who's raked in about twenty or thirty thousand steps so far. It's gonna be the fittest ghost in the underworld. Nothing will catch that. Oh wait a minute, Lisa knows something about Alton Fives. In right. a, in a, just in a disparate, disparate attempt to reach his ill wife, right? Against Alton Fives, Vincent Price is horrifically disfigured in a car accident and Whoa, presumed yeah, dead. Mate. So that's how he, what happened to him. Thank you, Lisa, for that info. Yeah, thank you. So there we go. Now we oh, know like what happened. <laughs> now we know what happened to Anton Fives. Car accident. And he was hor horribly disfigured. Okay. There's actually a set of books as well. The movies are taken from the books. Yeah. And there's a series uh -huh. of classic books. Oh, here's a movie that I, I watched the whole series. It wasn't a movie. It was a TV series and it went on. I watched all the ep it was many. I watched many episodes of it, like in, so like on Amazon Prime. Oh, God, I can't remember the name of it. it it's kind, it's not really horror, but it is kind of horror. And I, it's based on a true story of a right. physics, te a chemistry teacher who tries to make money on the side by, so in his basement, he tries, he tries, um, 
I mean, he tries cooking up, cooking up meth in his basement, and he gets really right. good at it. Right. Oh yeah, Who, does anybody know the name of that movie? And he gets really good at it, and all the episodes of all the things that happened to him, and how his life finally goes down the drain of. Yeah, but I mean, he makes a whole a lot of money. Thing? What? Is this a TV series? That's it. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad. Oh, Breaking Bad. Do you know what? I haven't seen it, and I really want to see it. People are telling us, my friends and whatever, are telling us to watch this, and I haven't seen it. And everybody's telling us how good it is. So there's one on the list. Another what, one on Breaking the list. Bad? Yeah, Breaking, Breaking Bad. Yeah, well, it, it's not just one movie. It, it's episodes that go on and on. I mean, many, many, because it, it used to be a TV show, I guess. I don't know. So it's like many, 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 many episodes. And It may take us some time to watch that. Yeah, but you well, can break uh, it up. So you can watch an episode like his, I think, is only 45 minutes long or something like that. And then. Yeah. And well, I've given Brian Anton Cranston. Fried. Brian oh. Cranston was the actor. Oh, he's a, oh, he's a great actor. He's one of my favorite actors. Oh, he is. Uh, oh, I think he played the chemistry teacher. Oh, it's great. I've gave Anton Fibes uh, some dental work, and he's not too happy. <laughs> I don't think he's too happy about no, it. No, he's not too happy with that. He might not pay us. So there we go. Now something tells us that I might have to finish this off on maybe another live stream, maybe. Really? Because it's going to take us, maybe another live stream to, if you would oh, like us to return. Yes, I hope you, what, what, next, uh, next, next week? Maybe, for Halloween. Oh yeah, because next week is October 30th. It is, it's Halloween. No, it's, it's the day before Halloween. Oh, right. The day before Halloween. Or even the Sunday, maybe. Or if you would like us to return oh yes then i can finish it off live yeah I've oh, done the awesome. bottom half. yes so everybody heads up about the announcement of the date and time i mean we'll probably i mean to confirm the date date and time Uh, Lisa says, those teeth are making me cringe. <laughs> those teeth. Let's have a close-up on those teeth. Let's see if Lisa likes these teeth. Are you ready for this, Lisa? Uh, There's a little bit of a close-up of the detail. There you go. He owes us about $3,000 and on fives for that. So there we go. And he doesn't have a nose either. That's a shame. He doesn't. It's been uh, it's been whipped off. His nose is gone. He's almost like a skeleton, to be honest with you. Yes. Which you will see if you watch the movie. You will see him reveal himself. Anyway, I get to use these graphics not just for the month of October because I do I do several episodes of Halloween and Halloween in July. <laughs> well, that's good. I do Christmas in July and Halloween in July. That's awesome. Have you got a Christmas pack for Christmas? No, they don't have that out yet. Uh, I may or may not get that. I may get. It depends. Okay. I, well, it, I'll watch you. I'll stay tuned to one of your live uh, Christmas live live streams. Yeah, and I can use them more that. than once out of the year too, because I can use them in July too, July and December and November. Well, I I, I start doing Christmas. Uh, in the past, I started doing Christmas 
art on my channel, like starting in November. Well, once you've got I those packs, I'm... that's it. Oh, what was that? I was just saying, once you've got those packs, then that's yeah, it, you've got, got them. Yes, you got so them, you... yeah. Yeah. And you just stick them away until until you need yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. If you've got a few packs, if you've got a few of them, then you can, you know, when it gets to Christmas and stuff, you, you get the Christmas one out. And when it gets to Halloween, the Halloween one comes out. and So they're well yeah. worth getting. Hi again, Charlene. Hello, Charlene. Has Charlene returned? I, well, I'm not sure. She didn't say, she, but I hadn't seen her in a while. She said hello about an hour ago. And now I see her back, so. Right. Well, hello, Charlene. Oh, uh, Lisa's saying Davy is on his night mode now, so he's sleep. No, I'm sorry. She's talking about Paul. She's talking about Paul. Yes. Paul, Paul is on his night mode now, so he's asleep. Sometimes he's on regular mode, sometimes on sometimes on owl mode and sleeps during owl the mode. day. Night. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mrs. V. Mrs. V V S speaks royally. She her channel's all about uh all about Megan and Harry. Hi, hi Mrs. V. Hello, Mrs. V. V, yeah. Is it, is it V? Hello, yeah, Mrs. Mrs. V. v. Yes. So nice to see you. Nice to see you, Mrs. V. This is the first time I've I've tried to draw Doctor Fabes. It is. And I must say I've I must say I've been enjoying it. Oh. I was trying to think of something Halloween to draw, but for tonight's yeah. live stream, and I just couldn't think. Uh, then I just remembered what movies. What movies have I got? So I was looking through the movies on my shelf, and I and. Dr. Fabes popped up. Oh, okay. So I thought I'll go with Oh, Dr. thank Fabes. goodness we didn't have tech. Oh, so thank goodness we didn't have tech issues tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, just at I'm the beginning we had some tech issues with me. Me having tech issues, right? Yes, you had. So you have getting the tech issue built bug. I've transferred it's contagious. the bug over to you. But funny enough, you know, uh, the actual webcam that I'm using now is the original webcam that would not work live doing uh, joining you live. It just but now it work. does. But now it works, so I don't know. Wow, how that's so weird. It it's very strange. Well, thank you, Red. She says, "Great stream, Diana and Davy." Thank you. Thank you very much, Red. I think we're doing this again next Sunday, but heads up, heads up, and stay tuned for the exact time and day. Yes, and I can finish off Fabes. I'll finish him off. Because I've got his eyes to do. And his head. My favorite part of a face of doing is the eyes. I love doing... Me eyes. mesmerizing eyes mm -hmm. and mouth like i i don't like the nose is still a little tricky to me nose and um ears oh goodness ears yuck i don't know i danny i don't know what you're talking I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you mean. How is mine coming along? Oh, I stopped working on mine because I, I'm trying to keep up with the chat and it's so distracting. 
so I have one that I've already done a while ago, but I was working on this one. This a digital. I was doing digital of a sorceress. I would really and like her, to see that. So I need to work on this on my own. It's hard. It's so I need to work on her hair. I did a little bit of her hair. Her face I did off camera before I started. Before I started on live stream, I did her face. But for me to. When I do a live stream, I kind of really have to do like mindless art because I'm thinking I'm I'm so concerned about what's going on with the live stream that like when I, I can't concentrate that good on the artwork that really takes focus. <laughs> yeah, it's too much going on, isn't it? Because you've got to check it yeah, out. Yeah, something chat. like really, e yeah, something really easy or just mindless. And you switch the camera move on what I've been. Or yep. unless I'm by myself, then I can because the, I don't have to keep reading the chat. The chat will be in my ears because I'll, I can't do that with a guest because the guest, um, because the because speech chat talks too loud and I can't adjust the volume and speech chat overrides my guest's voice. So I can never have speech chat in my ears when I have a guest. But when I'm just by myself, yes, I then I can do art in the speech chat. I can constant, I can kind of converse without keep looking at the screen. I quite like that speech chat. I've noticed, uh, I think I watched one of your live streams a while back. Yeah. And I was wondering what that was. God, that was really uh, uh, good. The speech chat. Yeah, I can keep up with the chat so nicely. I wish I could. I could wish I could use speech chat when I was having a guest, and I tried looking into adjusting the volume of speech chat's voice, and I can't find anything. It's a really good I idea, that. A nice piece of software, that uh, speech chat. Yeah, it's free. Mm -hmm. And it's free as well. It's browser based. Browser based, well, and it's free. Yeah. Well, well, that's good. Oh, thank you, Red. Danny says he's really good at that. He says that he is really good at cartoon faces or characters, but not actual people. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, that's what I focus on. The the. Uh, the portrait side of things rather than full figures uh -huh. i like to focus on the faces yeah um, i might have to do some videos showing full body characters <clears throat> yeah oh, okay i think that might be a good idea yeah, if you're trying to do something different, that'd be nice. Yes. forgot about his upper lip so I'll put some detail on his upper lip he hasn't really got lips to be honest with you yeah he doesn't yeah. have lips there's not much left
I would really like to see that um, sorceress completed. I think it's going to be good, uh, Diana. Oh uh, yeah, I'll work on it, but it, I wonder if I'll. I don't know if I work on it. I'm gonna work on it some. I gotta work on the hair next, and then I then yeah. I see. Maybe I, I get it, it to a great. certain point. Thank you. Maybe I'll get it to a certain point, and then I can work on it during the next live stream. I don't know what I'll do for the next live stream. Even if you don't, even if you do it for one of your other videos, I think uh -huh. uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Oh, okay. Yeah, thank you. I could. Yeah, I could do it. It comes with a time lapse. Yes, a time lapse video. Yeah, it's possible to um, slow down. Like it automatically makes like the the app itself automatically makes a time lapse video very short, like thirty se only thirty seconds, and then I can in editing I can slow it. I can slow it down. That's great. Mhm. Mm Diana, I think it's reaching the point where I will have to go. Okay, yes. Thank you so much for being a special guest today, Davey. You're very welcome. It's been a great pleasure being live again with you, Diana, and, and doing some sketching. It's been great fun. Yes, and stay tuned, everybody. Keep heads up for we might be doing this next Sunday. That'll be the day before Halloween, October 30th. And for him, for Davy to finish up, Mr. Fibes. I will complete Mr. Fibes, Anton Fibes. Yes, yeah, so thank, you, thank you again, Davy, so much for being a special guest. Thank you, everybody that was in the chat that joined us today. Thank you so much. Love seeing you here. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Diana. And thank, thank you again. I'm so glad we did not have tech issues, except my only I'm the one that had a tech issue at the beginning. So I'm glad that re, that ironed itself out. <laughs> yes, that was a relief. By God, I was panicking. I was panicking a little bit. I thought it would have went off. Yeah, me. But it's behaved itself. Me, me webcam has behaved itself. So, OK, we're going to take it out with uh, an outro. Uh, Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Again. Bye, everyone. Here's my outro. Bye, everyone, again. <laughs>
she's got a ticket to my heart She's 